Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today we're going to be going over a replay that I have of a battle um, that I just played with. Um, I was playing Empire versus Chaos, and it just really shows like the state the Empire's at right now. Um, I really don't think um, any of the, if played right, any of the other em like factions really have a chance against um, the Empire. And you'll see why here in a second, especially in just the army builds and like the tools available. Um, they're really the top tier faction in the game. Um, so uh, I knew that I was going up against Chaos, so I took a main line of five halberds. Um, great armor-piercing damage, um, sturdy morale, good defensive stats, um, four spearmen on each side just to have um, extra staying power. Three handgunners, um, a spearman in the back supported by one demigrip knight with halberds, and then just a mortar because um, I've been trying these out lately, and I think they got like an accuracy buff in the latest patch. I don't know, um, but I have a I have two empire captains here on foot with healing potions. I have my light wizard here with just Ned of Amantok, and I have. Um, General of the Empire here on a griffin. Um, we'll take a look at his army. He's got three Dragon Ogre Shagaths. Um, probably a counter to potential um, Lord on a griffin and potential Demigriff Knights um, because these are anti-large troops um, and he has Colex Sun Eater here. Um, he's got a weird formation here. He's got two Chaos Marauders. He's got two Chaos Marauders with great weapons, three of those, or four of those. Um, he's got three Aspiring Champions. Um, yeah, so he's got four great weapons, two regular, and then his hard-hitting force over here. And just looking at this, just the cost-effectiveness of this army, the Halberd line, each for 650, um, there's really no way for him to win this fight. Um, I'm going to see that heavy on this side. I'm going to start moving all my handgunners to this side over here. And uh, my mortar is going to start opening fire on this Chaos Marauder. Just <laughs> decimated. Um, a lot of them got back up, but that did considerable damage, I think. I'm going to switch targets to an actually good target now on these Chaos Marauders. Great weapons. Um, you're going to see me move all my handgunners to the side with my Light Wizard, my Extra Spearman, my Demigriff Knight. My handgunners are going to here be in a staggered formation. They're going to start opening fire. First couple of volleys. Um, they do have scaly skin, so they have some resistance. Um, but guess what you're going to see right, right here. Guess we'll wait for it. Yep, right here. Let go. Done. Done for. Um, it's basically over at this point. I have three handgunners shooting at this guy. I have my Demigriff Knights in support. I have Spearmen for anti large. My main line, I've spent much more money on it. Um, he even pulls through and managed to get all these guys. Um, a good move with the Shaggots using their weight to um, push through the lines, get to multiple um, skirmishers. But I have too many. There's just no way you can do that. My general's gonna come support, my Demigriff Knights. Still, still waiting. Um, his main line, Chaos Marauders, almost dead just from the mortars. And I just really, with the captains, he doesn't have enough killing power here to do anything to me as the Empire. See, so um, by the time he's off here, I've already killed this straggler. Um, and now I have him tied up with some spearmen that he will take damage from pulling out of. Um, my um, net is on cooldown, pretty quick cooldown. All three um, of my handgunners are opening fire here on Kolek. My general is going to come in and help. Uh, my uh, mortar is still going to fire in here. Um, the Kolek has to change his target to fight against this guy while all these still are opening fire. He's almost dead already. There's just no, really no, no chance of a chaos victory here. Um, and look, another net. Nothing they can do. They're going to get shot to death in a matter of seconds here. And he's going to 
obviously quit um, because it was over. Um, I I just wanted to show you guys this battle just to show you how overpowered the net is right now and how much of a tool it is, especially combined with handgunners um, versus large targets and such. Um, and just the Empire's ability to counterpick almost any other Empire, any other faction. Um, because of their extreme versatility, um, you can bring an army to fight, you know, like almost any other army that you can think of. Um, the Greenskins, I think, are on a similar level right now, just because of their um, cost-effective Savage Orcs um, and their Spider Queen. I think those kind of those tools right there, um, especially in the uh, Goblin Big Bosses, um, there that's just such a powerful combination that you can kind of bring that against anything and it'll work. Um, so the green skins kind of brute force with their just omni build, and then the empire um, being able to kind of counterpick anybody. Um, I really think those are the top tier factions, and the other ones, the other factions just have a hard time dealing with them um, when playing against a uh, efficient and similarly talented player. Um, yeah, let's go take a look at the kills here. Yeah, main line it was about to it was kind of shattering. Um, the aspiring champions were still healthy though. Kolek and a dragon ogre just shut down. Fifty kills in the mortar. It's actually a decent amount there. Um, you can see all my guys, none of them at all damaged really. Um, yeah. Anyways, so um, I definitely think um, the overcharged version of the net um, needs to be fixed somehow. Um, and I think that the net shouldn't um, stay there. So it, say I netted only one Shagath, and then I charged it with my Demigriff Knights with Halberds. Um, if a second Dragon Ogre had tried to come support, he would have, as he entered the circle, he would have got caught in the net as well. Um, and so that just makes it really hard to deal with, because even if you split up, um, you can't punish the enemy for pouncing on you um, while you're netted. Um, yeah, anyways, so uh, thanks for tuning in. A uh, really short video today, and uh, that's that.